Ivana, I'm so glad we booked a night here. I know it's out of our budget, but this private resort just makes me feel like a sultan. Check out this resort we stayed at, guys. Over 2,000 ringgits per night. The nicest place we've ever stayed at. Teranganu State Museum. Just kidding! Wow. Obviously you guys know from previous vlogs that every time I go to a museum I say, this museum is amazing. <laughs> that being said, this museum is amazing. It's just gorgeous. It looks really beautiful from outside. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. The first thing you notice when you walk here is like, is this a museum or a resort? <laughs> You've got like palm trees and a pond and all these buildings on stilts connected by bridges. Yeah. It's like insanely beautiful. There's even a few points in the museum where you can get like a scenic overlook. Never been That's in a right. museum with a scenic overlook before. I think it's built based on a traditional house in Malaysia. Mm. Uh, Trenganu from Trenganu, obviously. Really got, special. Like, sections inside the museum. Tons of different sections. We can't yeah. explain them all to you because there's just so many and it'll be a half an hour long video. That's true. But what I can tell you is if you are Islamic, this place would probably make you feel so proud. There's a huge section on Islamic inventions yeah. from any country, not just from Malaysia, so Syria or Turkey, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, ancient astronomy devices for measuring stars, whether it's warfare devices like the first ever torpedo or just general science and technology devices, uh, things to measure time. That's it's true. just really, really amazing place in terms mm -hmm. of history. They've got a huge section on the batik clothing yeah, style, textile. textiles, and also on like nature and animals. Huge section on the nature mm -hmm. you'll find in this part of the world. Um, About petroleum. A huge section Petronas? sponsored by the Petronas <laughs> Gas Company <laughs> of right. Petronas Towers fame. Also a huge section on burial ceremonies and funeral ceremonies, not just of Malaysian, uh, Malay, Indian and Chinese, but also of just the whole world. Stuff from Africa, stuff from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It was really memorable actually, yeah. and kind of creepy, kind of spooky, but kind enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> also a huge section on warfare. Every museum you go to has a section on history, which always comes to like the history of war. And it always makes you think, man, it's so brutal. You see like swords and knives and armor, and you're just like, That's true. history of war is so spooky. Mm -hmm. um, really what amazing else? museum. Yeah. So really much more, big. I can't say it all because we just spent like two hours wandering through it. How much did it cost? Uh, 15 ringgit each person for, uh, for a international, for, yeah, mm. for foreigners. So probably something less like 10 or 12 for a local. Definitely yeah. worth the money. We always love museums. Yeah. But that being said, this one is worth loving. Right. It's and really, really they fantastic. They also got, uh, I think, some traditional houses for show. Right, we just learned mm -hmm. that. So we're going to go try and find these uh, Rumas Limas. Or right. Rumas, there's a couple more, I forgot the yeah. names of. So we'll go find some traditional housing structures around here. Right. It's like a huge property, you can mm -hmm. see. It seems like it's some kind of sprawling estate, like like a mansion or something. I know. Um, but it's, it's a museum, it's really beautiful and spectacular. Okay, so let's check out more. So let's go check out some traditional housing structures. Let's go. Uh oh, mystery fruit. Do you know Ivana? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea either. Here's one right here. Dun, 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 dun. That looks fake. Fake? <laughs> They're so shiny. Not you know fake. What I mean? They're real. I Looks what... like some sort of coconut melon hybrid. Hmm. No okay. idea. Let us know, guys. <laughs> Growing on this tree, small tree for such a big fruit. Yeah. Look at that four four in a row there. <laughs> nice, right? Looks like a nut or a. I don't know what it looks like. I'm gonna stop guessing because I'm sure I'm wrong and make myself look foolish. Let us know in the comments, guys. I'm telling you, the only museum I've been to that feels like a resort. This place is so beautiful. The grass is all perfectly taken care of. All the buildings are on stilts. It's like a beautiful day today. And there's palm trees everywhere. Just great. Anyway, the first house we found is Rumatele, which is commonly built at the rear of the palace and for the ladies only. Very fancy. I think there's stairs there. Let's see if we can go in. No. Hold on. Uh, no, no, no. It's screwed closed. There's screws right in it. That would be cool though, wouldn't it? Still a great experience. No problem. So this is the palace, an example of the palace. Because behind it in the distance is a rumatele. Wow, like I said guys, every museum I've ever been to, I said it was amazing, but listen, this one is really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I really mean it. It's really great. I've never seen such a beautiful property for a museum. 
It's surrounded by greeneries everywhere. Amazing. It's nice. It's so amazing. All these different buildings. The wood on the buildings is aged and so old. They're all on stilts. They look so beautiful. Antique, just beautiful. Yeah, learning about culture and history mm. of Malaysia. Absolutely loved wow. it. Sorry about the audio down there. The last three houses we saw were right by the mosque and it's prayer time, so I couldn't really say anything, but beautiful housing structures. We read the plaque, we learned about what they're used for, what they're traditionally used for, mm -hmm. and uh, really great time. Would yes. definitely recommend this museum to tourists, but also locals. If you're Islamic, yeah. this place would be so interesting or, to you, or even if you're just Malaysian, yeah. this place would be so interesting to you. That's I mean, true. the history is just so rich and interesting. Mm -hmm. So, next stop, the Glass Crystal Mosque. Mosque. Crystal Mosque, sorry. Crystal Mosque. Okay, let's do it. There you have it. Looks like the Taj Mahal of Terengganu, no? <laughs> Boom, look at this man. Wow. Totally worth it. I think I underestimated the mosque. I'm like, it's, it's just a mosque. No, it's really beautiful. It's beautiful. There's so much artwork in it. Even the archways where the water meets the building are all have that shape of the dome of the mosque. Mm -hmm. So much detail, really beautiful. Yeah. Loving it. And this little walkway here, boardwalk in front boardwalk. of it. Beautiful By day today. Front. By wow. the waterfront. Wow, no kidding. Amazing. Awesome. Look at it, guys. Yeah. It's amazing. Sparkling. Sparkling. Seriously sparkling. Wow. Could not be here on a more beautiful day. <laughs> Loving That's it. That's true. Woo. <laughs> Ooh, cannot enter. I think, uh, what does that say? Is that say construction? Yeah. Or not safe or something? Construction. Construction. Okay, cannot enter today. That's okay. Still beautiful on the outside. I am ashamed to admit I really underestimated the mosque. When the day was planned, museum and a mosque, I thought the museum would be so amazing. I just love museums so much. I thought, how interesting can one building be? Dude, it is worth seeing. Yeah. It is cool, no? It's so pretty. So shiny, so pretty. And then the drone in the sky, some of those shots, I was mm -hmm. like, this is really great. Yeah, especially with the reflection of the sun and the water yes. on the crystal glass. Yes. It's just What a sunny day. Magical. Perfect weather, the shoreline, the mosque. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a great day. Uh, Terengganu, every day has been great so far. Yeah, that's true. Loving Terengganu. Mm -hmm. Really, really great. So later on today, we have a boat tour mm -hmm. with our friends Greg and Jumi planned. I don't think we'll bring the vlog there too much, but here are some clips you can see. We're going to see this mosque again. We're going to see the drawbridge again. Yeah. I think we'll see some other tourist attractions along the way. Right. Looking forward to spending time with Greg and Jumi. But overall, today's been great. The yeah. museum obviously was amazing. We just love museums every time. Always recommend museums. That's and the true. mosque is certainly worth seeing, especially if the weather is good. You've got all this shoreline around you. Perfect weather today. Beautiful mosque here shining. Ooh. Only thing is, you gotta really squint to look at it. Sometimes you look at it and the thing reflects you like, Ugh. Or bring us sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses would be a good idea. Really nice. Wow. Thing. Five Ricky. stars in Terengganu. Great, Great day we had today. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Great day we had today. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, below us, you'll see our most recent upload, wherever we are now, whatever Ooh. mosque we're looking at. And on the left, some of our other videos. Let's end off with a tour of Livana. Woohoo! Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Love you. Whee! Subscribe. Bye bye.